for the electron, K is 5 eV. But for the electron, K is P square over 2M. So this means that, OK, so we can find P. I want the wavelength. Remember that the wavelength lambda is H over P. So to find the wavelength, I need to find the momentum. And the momentum, I find it from the kinetic energy. So P squared is 2MK. So P, which is equal to 2M, that's 2, times M. Uh, now, OK, we can go to the SI units. Or, in fact, we can play this trick of multiplying by c squared up and down. Anyway, probably now the simplest thing is just stick to the SI units. So the mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And k is 5 eV. So you have to change that to joules. So times 5 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Change it to joules. So this is p squared. So 10 to the minus 31, 10 to the minus 19. This is 10 to the minus 50. I have 5 times 2, 10. 1.6 times 9.11, that's about 15. So we get 15 times 10, so that's like 150, times 10 to the minus 50. So p is the square root of that. Square root of 150 is about 12, about 12, 12 point something. So times 10 to the minus 25 kilogram meter per second, that's p. So lambda is h over p, that's 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules over p, which is 12 times 10 to the minus 25. Since everything here is SI units, SI units for lambda is meter. Ten, so I get with, this is about half, approximately. And this is 10 to the minus nine. So this is the wavelength, 0 0.5 nanometers. 10 to the minus nine meters is a nanometer. So it's 0 0.5 nanometers. How about the photon? For the photon, lambda, we get E for the photon is H C over lambda. It's H F. H, F, and F is just C over lambda. So that's C over lambda. So this means that for the photon, lambda is H, C over E. H, C, as we have said, is 1240 EV nanometer. And E is 5 EV. So it's 1240 over 5. This is... Uh, 248 nanometers. So the wavelength is 248 nanometers for the photon, whereas it's only half a nanometer for the electron. So you see, the electron and the photon with the same the kinetic energy of the electron being the same as the energy of the photon, the photon will have a much larger wavelength. So this is the ultraviolet. So this is an electron in the ultraviolet, I mean the photon in the ultraviolet. The electron's wavelength is only half a nanometer. Thank you for watching.